Hello everyone. Welcome on Smart Study. In this video, I will be discussing some of the very important questions of the chapter Glimpse of the Past of 8th standard. These questions will help you to go through the important topics of this chapter. This video will be quite helpful for all the students during exams because it will provide you with a quick revision and also all the important questions which have very high probability to come in exams. So let's have a look on our questions. Name the singer in the picture 1. Here is the answer. Lata Mangeshkar is the singer. She is singing A Mere Vatan Ke Logo song. Next question. Who else do you see in the picture 1? We can see Jawaharlal Nehru, Lal Bahadur Shastri and Indira Gandhi in this picture. Explain company's superior weapons in picture 2. East India Company was well equipped with intelligence and modern weapons. Additionally, they also passed many rules, regulations and policies which helped them to spread their wings in our country. Next question. Why were Indian princes called short-sighted? The Indian princes were called short-sighted because they used to fight against each other with the help of the British, thus strengthening them and the Indian princes could not understand the prime motives of the British, that was to rule on our country. Give an example of far-seeing ruler. Tipu Sultan is an example of far-seeing ruler who recognized the real intentions of the British and he fought against them till his death. What were the two social practices or ideas preached by the religious leaders? Untouchability and child marriage were the ideas preached by the religious leaders. Moving on to next question. How did British exploit peasants and farmers of our country? British had imposed heavy taxes on the lands of the peasants. These heavy taxes had ruined the farmers economically, thus they abandoned their own fields due to their inability to pay taxes. How did the British cripple Indian industries? In other words, how did the British damaged and paralyzed Indian industries. The British imported tax-free goods manufactured in England and sold them at cheaper rates. This led to the decline of the Indian industries. This is a very important question. Name the social reformer from Bengal. Social reformer is a person who brings about changes in the society by eliminating social evils. And we have already discussed the two social evils which were preached by some of the religious leaders of our country. These social evils were untouchability and child marriage. According to Ram Mohan Roy, who was a social reformer from Bengal, these social evils and superstitions were ruining our society. He believed in practical and scientific knowledge. He wanted to create awareness among the Indians regarding the real intentions of the British and therefore he started publishing newspapers but the suspicious British stopped his newspaper soon. Quote the lines of Ram Mohan Roy regarding religion. Ram Mohan Roy said these lines while his conversation with his wife Uma that cows are of different colors but the color of their milk is same. Different teachers have different opinions, but the essence of every religion is the same. With this, he meant to say that there are many religions in our country, but every religion has the same principle. Who said the bones of cotton weavers are bleaching the plains of India? Governor General Bentick said this line while reporting England. What was the Regulation 3 passed by the British? Under this Regulation 3, any Indian could be jailed without trial in a court. Who recommended the introduction of English education in India? Macaulay suggested to teach English language to the Indians. 
explain the first spark of fire of the revolt 1855. In Bengal, the Santhals had lost their lands under new land rules. Heavy taxes had ruined them completely. As a result, they became rebellious and started killing many Europeans and their supporters. Why were the army of East India Company discontented? The white soldiers got huge pay, mansions to live in along with servants. While on the other hand, Indian sepoys got low pay and slow promotions. Due to these reasons, they were discontented and angry and thus they started revolting against the British. Next question, how did the message of revolt spread everywhere between 1855 and 1857? The British had oppressed Indians to the peak level. Revolt had already started against them. It was the time to unite against the British. And this message was spread by sending chapatis from village to village by the emperors. Moreover, the lotus flowers were also circulated among the Indian soldiers. Who said these lines? Rise, brothers, rise. The Angres is ruining our land. It was Malvi Ahmedullah from Fezabad. He was one of the popular leaders who led the revolt of 1857 along with Peshwa Nana Sahib. With this, we have come to the end of the video. If this video was beneficial for you, hit the like button and also share with your friends because sharing is caring, therefore help your friends also.